Hi, James Love. Time for another Guidance with Mr. Gray video. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. Um, I hope all of you are doing well um, as we are getting close to the end of our school year here. And this week we were talking some about worry and identifying our worries. I know some of you may be feeling real worried. Some of you may not have had too many problems with it. But um, feeling worried or anxious about about things that are going on, about things being different, um, all those kinds of things. And I know that, that sometimes those, those feelings can feel very strong and overwhelming, um, and it's, it's tough, and we may not know exactly what to do with them. So today we're going to talk some about some different ideas for what we can do with them. One great idea, and this is written down here on your lesson for the week, is to watch a video on mindfulness. And in this video, you just go to your teacher's class dojo page, and then you click on either big ideas, if you see that, or if you don't see that, then click on toolkit. And then from there, if you clicked on toolkit, then click on big ideas, and then you click on mindfulness, and then you click on a video, it's called Mindful Breathing with Mojo. This is a really good video. Um, I've played it for, for other students before, if they were feeling worried or upset and just just needed to to kind of help them calm down and slow down it's a great video with mojo so again um, you can even go do that right now if you want to you go to your te your teachers class dojo page and then click on big ideas or toolkit and if you click toolkit and click big ideas and then click on mindfulness and then mindful breathing with mojo and this is just a great video or mojo he basically gets you to close your eyes and sit quietly and take some deep breaths and he imagines that you put your worries in a balloon and just let them float away and it's very calming and very good and i was going to do one other thing with this um today this is it's called like progressive muscle relaxation so whenever you do this i'll kind of have some different um different things for you to try and do so basically what you're doing is you're kind of like tightening up your muscles and then relaxing them so whenever you tighten them up don't tighten them up so much that it hurts but but tighten them up enough where you can you can feel it sometimes i don't know if you've ever felt this way if you were angry or if you were really worried about something where you you just feel kind of tense and tight your muscles feel tight you just feel feel tense and tight and this can help you kind of calm down and relax a little bit so um, you can follow along as I read this with you here today, okay? So first, uh, make sure that you're sitting. Um, it probably would help if you're sitting and you like have your feet on the floor um, and you're comfortable, so you're in a comfortable position, okay? And then close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out. You can breathe in the flowers, blow out the candle. Let's do that again. Okay, so now you can pretend that you are squeezing a whole lemon. You have a lemon in your hand and squeeze a lemon in your left hand. So squeeze that lemon, squeeze it. All right, then let go. Kind of um, move out your hand. All right, and then squeeze it again. All right, now drop the lemon and relax. Okay, and now try it with your other hand. Try it with your right hand. Squeeze the juice out of the lemon. All right, then relax. All right, now squeeze it again. Feel the tightness in your hand and your arm as you squeeze. All right, now drop the lemon and relax. And notice how much better your hand and arm feel when they're relaxed. Okay? So now we're going to go to our arms and shoulders. So pretend that you are a furry, lazy cat. So you want to stretch. So stretch out your arms in front of you. Raise them up high over your head way back feel the pull in your shoulders stretch high all right now let your arms drop to the side okay all right now let's try it again stretch your arms up high like you're a big fur kitten stretch your arms up high all right and let them relax good all right so now pretend that you are a turtle you're sitting out on a rock by a nice peaceful pond just relaxing in the warm sun. It feels nice and warm and safe here. Uh-oh, you sense danger. Pull your head into your house. 
push try to pull your shoulders up to your ears and push your head down into your shoulders hold it in tight turtles hiding all right the danger is past now okay you can come out into the warm sunshine and again once again you can relax and feel the warm sunshine all right oh looks like something came back gotta put our turtle head back into our shell all right now you can pull your head. now you can relax and go on to the next thing so next for your we're gonna you can pretend that you have a giant jawbreaker bubble gum in your mouth it's very hard to chew so don't hurt your teeth but you can squeeze bite down on it all right now let your neck muscles help you all right and then relax okay and then try it again to squeeze your jaw muscles tight all right and then relax all right and then let's take a deep breath in and out okay all right, so here comes a pesky old fly. He lands on your nose. So try and get him off without using your hands. That's right, wrinkle up your nose. Move your face around. Wrinkle, Make as many wrinkles in your nose as you can. Scrunch your nose up real hard. Good, good, you've chased him away. All right, now you can relax. Relax your face muscles. Oop, looks like the flies come back. All right, let's start moving. Face muscles around, wrinkling up your nose. Good. All right. Let's take a deep breath in and out. All right. Next, we have a cute baby elephant, but he's not watching where he's going. He doesn't see you lying there in the grass, and he's about to step on your stomach. All right. So don't move. You don't have time to get out of the way. Just get ready for him. So make your stomach hard. Tighten up your stomach muscles real tight. And hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, he's going the other way. You can relax now. All right, let your stomach go soft and be relaxed. All right, looks like he might be coming back. So we need to prepare and tighten up our stomach muscles. Tighten them up. Tighten them up. Keep them tight. All right, you can relax now. He walked away. Good. Now, you can pretend that you are standing barefoot in a big, fat mud puddle. Squish your toes down deep into the mud. Try and get your feet down to the bottom of the mud puddles. Push down, spread your toes apart, push, push those feet down into the big mud puddle, and feel the mid mud squish up between your toes. All right, now step out of the mud puddle, relax your feet, let your toes go loose, and feel how nice that is. All right, and then do it again. Push down your, your feet and toes into that mud puddle. Spread your toes apart, squish them down, squish them down. All right, and then relax, okay? All right, let's take another deep breath. And one more. Okay. Well, I hope you found that helpful. For some people, that, that seems to really help them to do that relaxing the muscles. And other people, it doesn't help as much. Maybe that dojo video helped you more. So whatever it is, if you take some time to do something that can help you if you're feeling worried or angry, it can be really helpful for your mood to help you feel better and help you deal with that worry or anger that you're experiencing. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you have a great rest of your week.